What do you call nuts on a wall? Walnuts. <laughs> Right, so hello again everybody and welcome back. A very common problem at the moment with fire sticks is it's stuck when it's being turned on, when it's starting. It's either sticking on the fire stick logo or it's stuck in like a boot loop and there's numerous different reasons this might be happening and there's numerous different things you can do to fix it. So I'm going to show you those things now. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so if your fire stick's stuck on this screen, here's some of the things to try. Right, so the first thing to do is, the obvious thing is to restart the fire stick, which you can do with the remote. And all you want to do is hold the play pause button and the select button, this button in the middle here. If you press both of these at the same time and long hold them, just keep pressing them down, you will see it powers off the device and restarts it. Now, granted, I'm not having the issue where it's stuck on the logo screen, but this is one of the fixes a lot of people have found. Now, the next one is probably obvious again, is to unplug it. So you unplug it, some say, for 60 seconds and some say 5 to 10 minutes. Just unplug it for a while, let it do a full power cycle and start up as fresh. A lot of people found that this worked as well. Now, there might be a lot of people thinking, how do I know that this works? And I've made videos about this issue previously, and I've gone through loads of different comments and everything, finding the different fixes people have found and work for them. So don't forget to leave a comment down below if you try any of these fixes and they work for you, or if you did something different and you had joy with that. Now, the next thing can be the age of the fire stick the old fire sticks tended to overheat pretty fast, so they'd just get warm really quick and then pretty much just freeze up. I can remember the old fire sticks we used to take off this casing and just plug it in like that to fix any overheating issues, but that's one of the more uncommon issues with it. Now, one of the big reasons this can be caused is from the amount of power that the fire stick is getting. If you power it from... If you plug your fire stick straight into your TV rather than a wall outlet, then this might not be generating enough power to boot up the fire stick, especially if it's trying to update. So try unplugging it from the TV if that's something that you do, plugging it into the wall and seeing if that works for you. Another thing with power as well can be the plug that you're using. The one that Amazon provide is a one amp plug, but where your standard like phone charger plugs and that, they're two amps. And I know on the older fire sticks, changing that plug tended to work quite a few times. Another thing with power as well is, are you using an OTG cable which gives you the USB ports on your fire stick? And then anything you've got plugged into this might be drawing power from the fire stick to power whatever you've got plugged in, such as these old USB hubs here. A lot of people liked using these. It gave you an Ethernet and three USB ports, but that was using the same power source as the Fire Stick. So if you've got any accessories plugged in with your OTG or a USB hub, unplug it all and just plug the Fire Stick in on its own and see if that works for you. Because a lot of the times that this happens is the Fire Stick is trying to update, but obviously it needs a bit more power to do that. And if it's not getting enough power, it just seems to stall on that Fire Stick logo screen. A lot of people did say these HDMI extenders can be an issue, which that's not really a thing, I don't think. I don't think anyone's had that issue with the HDMI extender. If it was anything to do with the HDMI port, you'd think it wasn't giving no signal at all. Something you could try, though, is changing the cable, which came with the Fire Stick, maybe... It's got bent, bit broken over time, and that could be causing an issue. Now, one that's become more and more common, and I've seen this from a lot of different people, is if your Fire Stick isn't on the same Wi-Fi network, so if you've taken it to a different house or if you've changed internet provider and it's not got a saved Wi-Fi network on there and it can't connect, but yet it's trying to update... This can cause the issue, and this is quite a common one. So it does sound a bit daft, I know, but if it's not connecting to Wi-Fi, meaning it can't update, this could be the reason it's not actually doing the update and starting up. But when it comes to the updates as well, they may take longer on certain devices or dependent on your Wi-Fi speeds and things. 
So leave it on for as long as you can. A lot of people, if they get the Fire TV logo and it just freezes, they tend to turn it off or restart it straight away. Amazon recommend that you leave this on for like 25 minutes. Some people leave it on overnight. And I've seen a lot of different people have joy with this, just leaving it on that Fire Stick logo screen as long as they can overnight or whatever. They come back to it and it is working. Now you could be someone that's tried all these different things and your Fire Stick is just bricked, nothing works and it won't start up. What do you do? Now the best thing is probably just to get a new Fire Stick, but to contact Amazon telling them about the issue first and a lot of people have been sent replacement Fire Sticks or vouchers to their Amazon account to get a new Fire Stick free of charge. Now Amazon did recognise a while back this issue was a thing where the Fire TV logo it was just freezing. They did say it has been fixed but I'm just seeing a lot of people having this issue at the moment I don't know what's changed and failing all that just chuck it in the bin. <laughs> Another last resort thing you can try though is to factory reset the fire stick. So basically it'll wipe everything off it. You'll need to set all of it back up. It'll remove all your apps, your account and everything. So this will completely wipe it. So this is a last resort. If you long hold the back button on your remote and the right button, if you long hold those together, this triggers a factory reset on the device now this might work for you if it is stuck on the fire stick logo but it's also an unlikely one as well but yeah it's just one of those videos it's a bit boring isn't it but if you're having this issue those are all the fixes that i've come across that have worked for people and also if you've had this issue previously and found that something's worked for you what device was it and what did you do to fix it? Such as if we look at this one here, this is the oldest fire stick that I own and the slowest shit. So if you're trying to do an update from this, you probably already know if you're trying to navigate with it, it's really, really slow. So things on this tend to take a lot longer. So I'm guessing it's on older devices that this issue is occurring. But since the Fire Stick 4K Max second gen was released, I've noticed a lot more people saying they're having this issue on the Fire Stick 4K and 4K Max. And quickly as well, if you're looking for a VPN, I will leave a link in the description down below. There's IP Vanish, it's one I've used for a very long time and we are affiliated with them. So if you sign up for IP Vanish, I get a bit of a commission and it helps the channel out a little bit. I'm not gonna be a millionaire from it, but every little helps. And if you use my link, I want to say thank you very much. Right, so that's it for this one. I hope this video helped at least two people because then the video was worth making. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And I'll see you soon. ta -da.